Spinal mobility is the key to a healthy and happy life. Backbending can help us to improve spinal mobility while also increasing lung volume, creating healthier shoulders, and establishing a more stable lower back. It's often said that the first step toward an open mind is through an open heart. So together, let's open both. For this practice, you'll need two yoga blocks. In this yoga backbending practice, you'll need two blocks or two stacks of books. Starting with one block at the medium height underneath your shoulder blades and another block at the higher height underneath the back of your head, gently recline back. And you might keep the soles of the feet flat and have the knees bent, especially if the back is sensitive, or feel free to extend the legs towards straight. As you rest the body onto the blocks, allow the shoulder heads to gently wrap back. Allow your eyes to close and allow your breath to move just organically in and out through your nose. And as we step into this practice, it's often said that an open heart is the first step toward an open mind. And with your heart gently exposed in this way, and yet also support it. You might tune in and ask yourself, what possibilities am I opening up to as I step onto my mat today? You might even notice your breath right in the center of your heart. And as you continue to tune into that place, trusting that the guidance you're searching for will come. And with your belly a little bit soft, your head a little bit heavy, taking care of yourself in a kind and supportive way as we start to open this central channel of the body. On an inhale, bend the knees if the legs are extended towards straight and plant the soles of the feet flat. Pause there and spread your arms out wide away from your body. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop both knees over to the right. Let your left arm come over to support you. Press down into your left hand as you rise up and off of your blocks to sit. Slide your blocks off to the side and then come on to all fours. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And right away, drop your head and round your spine as you tuck your tail under and in. Let your head be heavy and pause here for a few breaths. How sweet that the heart isn't just on the front of the body, it's also on the back of the body. So in this moment here, you take the opposite shape and you breathe into the back space of the heart. And then in a gentle flow, inhale, lift your heart, lift your tail, slide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, drop your head, round your spine, tuck your tail. Inhale, lift your heart, spread your collarbones wide and slide your shoulders down your back. Exhale, drop your head, tuck your tail again and get as round as you can get. Inhale as you draw your heart forward and descend the tips of your shoulder blades toward the mat. Exhale, drop your head, separate your shoulder blades away from the center of your spine. Last time, inhale, heart lifting, inner hand still pressing firm. Exhale, drop your head, tuck your tail, curl in on yourself to a flat back on an inhale, and you sense that you're in this in-between shape. The belly a little lifted, the front ribs hugging in, so the front body protects the back body as we start to open up the center of the heart, the chest. Step the feet back, upper push-up plank position, knowing that, of course, you can always modify. Knees can come down behind the hips. Even in plank pose, the heart leads the way. The heart extends forward, the collarbones widen. Pause here, take one more deep breath. As you exhale, lower slow all the way down onto the mat. Release the whole body flat to the floor, release the tops of the feet flat. And then take your fingertips outside the corner edges of your mat. Come onto the pads of the fingers, and then pausing there, a little fingertip cobra flow. Inhale, heart rising, shoulders wrap back. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin lower slow to the mat. Inhale, fingertip cobra, tops of the feet flat. Exhale, heart, chest, and chin reground to 
the mat. Inhale, last time, heart rising, shoulders down the back. Exhale, lower slow. Slide your hands back by your low ribs, wrists underneath elbows. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. And in downward facing dog, there's even a spaciousness across your upper chest and upper back. As you wrap your armpits towards your heart, you broaden that space so you keep the heart wide, you keep the chest receptive. Grounding through your hands, take an inhale, press your heart back. Gaze forward as you exhale and lightly step your feet to meet your hands. On an inhale, glance out halfway, let your heart lead the way. Exhale, fold forward and hang your head. Circle your arms to the sky. On an inhale, ground through your feet as you rise. Exhale, hands at your heart. Pause for a moment. Plug the backs of the thumbs into the front of your chest. And you just check in one last time, sensing that today you open up to possibility, knowing that your open heart is an entry point to your open mind. From here, on an inhale, prana mudra, open the arms out, elbows bent, shoulders roll gently back. And as you lift the center of the heart toward the sky, notice you haven't tilted your tail back, long through the low back, so any sense of back bend moves into the space right behind the heart, the chest. Take one more inhale here. Hands back at your heart as you exhale, and you notice we take the back bend out, tail heavy, front ribs close back. Circle the arms straight up toward the sky. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, fold from the crease of your hips as you dive. Inhale, elongate your spine. Fill your lungs, your heart with breath. Exhale, plant your hands down. Step back to plank pose and lower slow descent. Cobra or up dog, inhale, let your heart lift high. Exhale, down dog as you press your way back and we just start to flow in this way today. One breath, one movement, and when the mind wanders, what if you could bring your attention right back into the center of your chest? Inhale, press your heart back. Exhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow back in. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky as you rise to stand. Exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, prana mudra, arms open wide, shoulders roll back. Exhale, hands back at your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, get empty of breath. Inhale, find a flat back. Exhale, hands down, step or float. Same exhale, elbows bend. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Down dog as you exhale, shift back. Just a momentary pause and down dog. Take an inhale as you stretch your chest back. Gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float, top of the mat. Inhale for space. Exhale as you bow back in on yourself. Inhale, sweep your arms above and rise. Exhale, hands at your heart back inside. Possibility, inhale, open the arms, prana mudra, receptive. Protect your heart, exhale, hands reconnect. Inhale, sweep the arms to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, let it go again. Inhale, long through the sides of your waist. Exhale, hands down, step or gently flow. Inhale as you lift your heart and wrap your shoulders back. Down dog as you exhale, shift your chest back. Pause there, strong through the hands. Last time through, inhale, press back. Gaze forward, bend your knees, step or float light. Inhale for space. Exhale as you close the gap. Inhale, circle the arms up above and root to rise. Exhale, hands back at your heart. Inhale, arms open, shoulders wrap back. Exhale as you reconnect, palms at the center of the chest. Inhale, circle and find some height. Exhale, dive down. Inhale as you lengthen the spine, the back. Exhale, hands down, step or float. You keep it sweet this time. Inhale, fill your lungs, wrap your heart open wide. Exhale, down dog as you shift your way back. Pause in downward facing dog. And step your feet together side by side at the back of your mat. Inhale forward, top of a push-up plank pose. Pause there and notice if for a moment, did you start to panic a little bit? <laughs> See if you can soften away from that. Take a deep breath in. 
Lower your right knee down as you exhale and turn your back left foot flat. On an inhale, reach your left arm to the sky as you stack your left shoulder on top of your right. And just an easy, modified side plank pose. Not in a back bend yet, so notice if there's a tendency to jut the ribs forward. See if the ribs can draw toward the top of the pelvis. Reach up tall through your left hand, and then send your left arm up and over your head as you extend long through the left side waist. We just cultivate space. On an inhale, left arm straight up toward the sky, and then float your left leg up and off the mat parallel to the earth as you flex your foot back. The stronger your leg is, the easier it is to balance. Keep that, start to spin your left palm to face behind you, bend your left knee, reach back and see if your foot might be there to catch. As you continue to press out of your strong right arm, draw your right shoulder down your back. And then back bending requires a little bit of upper thigh engagement, so press the shin into the hand. Take one more inhale, roll the left shoulder back. Then exhale, left leg straight back, left arm to the sky, pause there, take a breath. Lower your left foot as you exhale, lower your left hand down to the mat. Step the right toes back, upper push-up plank position. Take one inhale here. Exhale, lower all the way down onto the mat, rest the body flat. Run the arms down by the sides and then catch and interlace the hands at the low back. If you can, maybe squeeze the palms together. And on an inhale, lift your heart, your chest up and off the earth. And then see if you might lead with the crown of your head rather than your chin or your nose. So the top of the head extends forward. Elevating the hands up and off the low back, start to reach the knuckles past the tail. Then lift the legs up and off the earth and spread wide through your toes. Take one inhale, everything lifts as we strengthen the spine. Exhale, lower everything down toward the mat. Release the hands by your low ribs. Cobra on an inhale, heart elevates. Exhale, down dog as you shift your way back. Inhale, float your right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot through, spin your back foot flat, warrior one on an inhale, heart facing ahead. Seal through the outer edge of your left foot. And then with the chest drawing forward, the right waist drawing back, we warm the lats a little bit, which are an important piece of our back bend. Reach up high, take a big inhale here. As you exhale, elbows to ribs, roll the shoulders back, feel the side waist begin to warm as the scapula draw in. Inhale, circle the arms back up toward the sky, full breath, two more. Exhale, elbows to ribs, heart open, nice you guys. Inhale, arms to the sky, just receiving that possibility. Exhale, elbows draw down and in by the sides. Inhale, circle your arms back up toward the sky, first warrior sweet. Warrior two, exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. And like the movement originated from the center of the heart. As you extend long from hand to hand, take a moment here. Take a full inhale, warrior two. As you exhale, start to shift your right arm forward, start to reach ahead. As you reach ahead, place your right hand down about a foot in front of the pinky toe side of your right foot. Continue to shift forward and take flight, half moon pose, your left leg floats parallel to the mat, just like it did a moment ago when your hands and knees were on the mat. Stacking your left shoulder on top of your right. Notice that you still have an even steady breath. You can stay right here, especially if you're at home and this is the first time you've done this. Or if you feel ready and it's right, turn your left palm to face behind you. Start to bend your left knee, reach back and see if your left foot might be there to catch. If you happen to catch the foot, roll the chest open, wrap the left shoulder down the back and know wherever you are, it's great. Keep the corners of the eyes soft, and you can always put a block underneath the right hand. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, left leg straight back, left arm to the sky, spread wide. There's a moment there. Exhale, bend your right knee, step back, warrior two, as you land light. Reverse your warrior inhale, right arm up and overhead. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Pause there, spin to your back left toes. Look forward and step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, glance out halfway. Exhale, fold forward and in. Inhale, sweep the arms to the ceiling as you rise to stand. 
Exhale, hands come back at your heart. Pause and check in. Plug the backs of the thumbs into the front of your heart and feel the beating of your heart in that place. When was the last time that you noticed your heart beating inside of you, the selfless servant that's always there, supporting you through every breath you take? And then letting the heart lead and guide the way. Start to shift the weight into the right foot and bring the right hand to the right hip. Begin to elevate your left heel to your left sitting bone and drop your left hand behind your back, catching the inside edge of your foot if you can. Right arm to the sky on an inhale, grow tall through the right side of your waist. As you exhale, start to lean out halfway, what we call king dancer pose, that left thigh again deeply engaged. Left toes reaching toward the sky, outer left hip turning down, and if we falter or we fall, we know it's okay, we have the breath. On an inhale, as you rise to stand, left foot meets the right, hands come back at the heart again, both feet to the floor, feel yourself connected. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, let it all go. Inhale, lengthen the back. Exhale, hands down, step back and pause and upper push-up plank pose. As you pause in plank pose, spin to the blade of your right foot. Stack your left foot on top of your right and reach your left arm to the sky. Remember, we started with the knee down, so you can always modify. If it's available to you, lift your left foot a couple of inches off your right. Start to bend your left knee, drop your toes behind you. Go ahead and flip it out. Strong press out of your right arm. Left arm reaches overhead. Reach high through your heart, take a big breath into the chest. Exhale, left hand comes down, left toes step back. Inhale, plank pose to reset. Exhale, as the elbows bend. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, press your way back. Pause and down dog as you step your feet together at the back of your mat. Inhale, forward upper push up plank position. Left knee down as you exhale, spin your back right foot flat like an anchor. Right arm to the sky, inhale as you grow long from hand to hand, like the shoulder blades could spread away from the back of the heart, the spine. Take an inhale, reach up. Right arm over your head as you exhale, extend long anchor through the back edge of your right foot. Inhale your right arm straight up to the ceiling. Start to float your right leg parallel to the mat. Flex the back right foot like it was pressing into a wall there. Then with strength through your leg, spin your right hand to face behind you and start to bend your right knee. Reach back with your right hand, see if your foot might be there to catch. If it's not, that's okay. Roll the chest open, keep sliding your left shoulder down your back. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, right leg straight back, right arm to the sky, take a breath. Exhale, right foot comes down, right hand comes down to the mat. Step your way back, upper push-up plank position. Inhale and plank pose. Exhale, lower the whole body down onto the mat slow. Run the arms down by the sides, reach the hands behind you, but this time interlace one finger over the funky way, the less natural way. Inhale, lift the heart up, spread the collarbones, and then if it feels right, start to lift the legs. Spread wide through the toes and stretch long through the inseam of the pant. You massage the belly, you strengthen the back. Take one last big inhale here. Exhale, lower it all down toward the mat. Slide the hands by your low ribs, wrists underneath elbows. Inhale to cobra pose, chest lifts. Down dog, exhale as you shift your way back. Left leg to the sky, inhale. Left foot steps through, exhale, back foot flat. Inhale, warrior one, sweep your arms above and you set yourself up. We're only here once today and so it's kind of nice. Make this moment count. Take an inhale, reach up high. Elbows to ribs as you exhale, bring the tips of the shoulder blades in. Circle the arms to the sky. Inhale, lift high. Exhale, elbows to ribs, heart wide. Inhale, sweep the arms up one last time. Exhale, elbows to ribs, heart receive. Inhale, sweep the arms up, take a breath. Warrior two as you exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. Sensing that your inner knee is safe, your outer left thigh is wrapping down, and don't forget about what's behind you, that that informs where we're headed to. Take an inhale, start to reach your left arm forward. 
As you lean ahead, left hand to the pinky toe side of your foot, shift forward, take flight, half moon pose, strong right leg, just like you practiced a moment ago. Drive the heel back, reach up high through your right hand, and know that of course you can stay here. Turn your right palm to face behind you, maybe. Start to bend your right knee, maybe your foot is there to catch. As you roll your chest open, find your place in the shape, knowing that a block can help us to find that height. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, right leg back, right arm to the sky, take a breath. Exhale, bend the left knee, step back, land light, warrior two to your mat. Take an inhale, reverse your warrior, left arm up and back. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat, pause there, spin to your back toes. Shift forward, step your right foot up to meet your left. Inhale, find some space, heart extends. Exhale, fold forward, hang your head. Inhale, circle your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands back at your heart. Pause there, take your attention on the inside. And then with that sense of an open heart and the possibility still there, give yourself this opportunity to take a fresh approach this time like beginner's mind. Start to send the weight into the left foot. Bring the left hand to the left hip. And as the right heel lifts to the right sitting bone, drop the right hand behind you and catch the inside edge of the foot. Left arm to the sky, on an inhale, grow tall through your left waist. Exhale, start to tilt yourself out, maybe about parallel to the mat today. Your version of King Dancer pose is you wrap your right hip down and your gaze, just like a laser beam, pointing its way straight into the center of your chest today. On an inhale, rise to stand, right foot meets the left, both hands at the heart, reconnect. Last time, inhale, circle the arms to the sky, lift high. Exhale, fold forward, dive, let it go. Inhale, lengthen through the back. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank pose, pause in the top of a push-up. Spin to the blade of your left foot, stack your right foot on top of your left. Reach your right arm to the sky and remember at any point in time, you can drop the left knee down. If the feet are stacked, maybe float the right foot a couple of inches off the left. If that feels right, drop your right toes behind you, roll your chest open, sweep your right arm overhead, balancing on the blade of your left foot. Let your heart receive the breath. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand under right shoulder, right toes step back to plank. Goodbye, inhale, last upper push-up today. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale as you lift your chest. Exhale as you find your way back, downward facing dog. And this is such an important moment where we say thank you to the body. Thank you to the practice for all the support it's shown us today. Take one more inhale, stretch your way back. Exhale, lower your knees down to the mat. Crawl your knees forward, cross your ankles behind you, roll onto your back and plant the feet flat the distance of your sitting bones. Run your arms down by your sides. And as you run your arms down by your sides, go ahead and bend your elbows, palms face each other like you're holding a block right over the center of your heart, your chest. Then with your upper arms pressing down into the floor, press the upper arms down, Pop the heart to the sky like you were lifting your shoulder blades away from the mat. And then keeping that, lift your hips away from the earth, bridge pose. Arms could stay just like this. Arms could drop down by the sides. Hands could even catch and interlace underneath the low back like you've already practiced. And then move your chin a little bit away from your chest so we keep some space for the throat to receive the breath. Keep your knees about the distance of your hips. And then with your belly receptive, your whole soft tissue side of your body open, know that this spinal mobility helps us to increase lung volume. We've built healthier shoulders and a more stable lower back. What an awesome practice. This could be enough for us today. You can stay right here. Or if you would like, take it to upward facing bow pose. You might release the hands and take the hands back by the ears. As you press into the hands, you might lift to the very crown of your head and then press your arms towards straight as you hang your head. Inner thighs still spiral down, knowing that you can stay in bridge pose. If you're at home, that's a great place to be. Head a little heavy, 
heart a little wide. Take one more inhale into the heart, the chest. If you're all the way up, exhale, tuck the chin, lower slow down to the shoulder blades. If the hands are interlacing, release one vertebrae at a time, back down toward the mat. Let the whole back body touch the floor. And as the back body touches the floor, pause there for a breath. And then reach down, hug and squeeze your knees into your chest. As your knees hug in, start to create some momentum. Rock a little forward and back along the length of your spine. Eventually rock all the way up and send your legs straight ahead. Flex your feet towards your face. Inhale, circle your arms up toward the sky. Exhale, fold out over your thighs. It might be a little bit counterintuitive, but this might be the most important moment of our practice. That we forward fold to turn back inside. As far as we go in one direction, opening one part of the body, we always want to come back to center again. So folding forward is a way of turning your energy and your attention inward. Maybe closing your eyes and starting to make a physical and energetic shift. It's a little bit like when we see a beautiful flower and its petals are closed. We might really want that flower to bloom, but we wouldn't walk up to that flower and pull its petals away and force it to come alive. The same is true with the heart. We have to be patient, letting those petals expand as they're ready, but also giving them the time and the patience to close again when it's time to go back in. So giving yourself this breath, giving yourself this pose, this posture to literally counter everything you've already experienced in this practice. Breathing into the back body, breathing into the lungs, breathing into the back space of your heart. Maybe you could even feel the back of your heart receiving you. elbows, the height of your chest, and then take your right ankle outside of your left knee and drop both knees over to the right, just an easy wide twist. If the left knee is sensitive at all, just drop the right foot to the floor. Let the belly be expansive, let the heart face the ceiling, and if it feels appropriate, close the eyes. to what works best for your breath. On an inhale, spin the sole of the right foot flat. Uncross the left ankle. Extend your legs towards straight. Let your feet fall away from each other. And then take your two hands and place them over your heart today. With your hands over your heart, your hands resting on your chest, let your eyes close. And as your eyes close, 
Take a final deep inhale into your two hands, into the center of your chest. And exhale out the mouth. Eyelids closed, body heavy. Shavasana for your full and final rest. have time to stay here today, please stay for as long as you can, knowing that the greatest asset that we can own is an open heart, and taking that with you off your mat and into the rest of your day, letting your heart lead and guide the way. Be consistent, be inspired, and we'll see you next time. Namaste.